Nothing comes easy in life. Work hard, stay on the grind, achieve success. YouTube, Smooth the Trucker. How's it going, you guys? Your boy Smooth is enjoying some home time. Just got back for another week out on the road driving semi trucks for VNG Optimum Freight, who has uh, semi trucks leased onto FedEx Ground. Went back to Tennessee and just got back home to California. And uh, things are going real well. Your boy Smooth is working as a trainer, been training people, and uh, uh, things have been going good. I'm a happy, happy camper. I want to make a video today about the key to be successful. I feel like everybody in the whole world wants to be successful. The only difference is some people are willing to put in the work while other people are not. Most people are not. And uh, it really takes drive and motivation. You gotta have some type of inner thing inside of you to make you even want to work that hard to do what it takes to be successful in life. And uh, you gotta be able to put in the grind and the hustle. Uh, it's not easy, you know, it's a lot of work, putting a lot of work, a lot of dedication and uh, day after day after day, doing the grind, doing the hustle. And uh, after a while, you know, if you're not strong, you're not mentally there, you can give up. And I feel like unfortunately, most people in life do give up. They never make it to that finish line because ultimately they just aren't willing to put in the work year after year after year uh, that it takes to become successful in life. And you gotta work towards a goal. The trick is to have a goal. In your mind, have a goal. Like for your boy Smooth, for example, I have a goal of, you know, hopefully trying to buy a house by next year, you know, get married by next year. Uh, have goals, have uh, financial goals, being able to save up, like even financial goals of saving too, living on, living on less than you make. Have goals of, you know, every couple months, I wanna put another $5,000, $6,000 into my savings account. Keep building that higher and higher and higher. Have goals and when you see those goals start to, start to come into action month after month after month, it'll help give you motivation and it helps uh, keep you on the journey if you can see the progress that you're making and kind of compare and contrast and uh, be organized and do what it takes to uh, achieve your goals to be successful, you guys. And like I said, live on less than you make. One of the biggest keys and the biggest secrets in life is to live on less than you make. So example, if you're working as a semi-truck driver and you got a good gig making, you know, 80, 75, $80,000 a year, make sure you budget that. Make sure that you take into consideration what your your partner or your wife's income is and to live in a place that is going to allow you to save money, you know, track your expenses, track what your HOA fee is, track what your, your car payment is, your insurance, what you're spending on food every month. It's real important to calculate all those numbers because ultimately, you know, you wanna set yourself up in a position where if you could be saving at least like at a minimum 20% of your income. So, you know, if you're married, you got a mortgage to pay for, you know, you got a lot of expenses. If you can still budget that and still being saved at least 20% of your income, you're gonna be in a good spot and you're still gonna be able to get ahead in life and retire and live a financially successful life. So. Make sure you budget and live on less than you make. It is so important and unfortunately nowadays, you know, your boy Smooth, I have a lot of friends that, you know, they get out, they're, they're spending way too much money on their mortgage. They're, even some people are renting places that they should not be renting and uh, they're not saving any money. They're living paycheck to paycheck. Some people are in massive debt and it's sad because you, you can tell when you're talking to these people that they're sad, they're depressed, they're not happy. You know, financial stress will take a huge toll on you, and uh, it's not a situation that that you want to be in. It's it's not fun at all. I know a lot of people that are in that position, unfortunately, and it is not a good place to be. It is not fun, and uh, so ultimately, don't do that. You know, live on less than you make. Be frugal, and it's the way to be. You got to weigh your happiness versus your stress level too. A lot of people, you know, they can make a lot of money if you know. For example, if it's good economic times, and let's be let's use the trucking industry as an example. If you're starting your own fleet, you know. If you're owner operator and you have your own fleet, you're leasing on one truck, two trucks, three trucks, up to five trucks, however many trucks you want. Uh, that is a way to increase your income and to you know have a higher net worth. However, you are going to be a lot more stressed. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that if you decide to go down that route. 
You know, you gotta be able to manage drivers. You're having drivers quit on you sometimes. You gotta find ways to keep your, your drivers happy so they stick around. You gotta pay them right. But you also have to, you know, figure out the numbers to make sure you're still profitable and your company is not losing money. You're having breakdowns, repairs all the time, all kinds of IFTA, DOT, regulations that you're constantly dealing with. So ultimately, you know, it is gonna be a much more stressful lifestyle if you decide to go down the trucking fleet and open up your own company and have multiple trucks leased on and have drivers working for you. It, it is a way that you can be successful at it, but you know, you have to be able to willing to put in your happiness versus your stress level and uh, and just have a success mindset. A lot of people, they, they think, you know, I can't do it. Oh my gosh, they worry about stuff saying, oh, you know, I'm not gonna be able to make this happen. It's not gonna happen. Honestly, that is, uh, that is not a success, success mindset. That is a fail mindset. You're setting yourself up for failure right off the bat before you even start. So go into it, have a success mindset. Tell yourself, I can do it. This is gonna happen. You know, I am gonna be successful. I'm gonna make this company work. I'm gonna do what it takes. You know, if you believe you can do it, your mind is your biggest enemy. If your mind tells you you can't do it, honestly, you're probably gonna be scared your whole entire life. You're never gonna pull the trigger and never go for it. But if you can develop that success mindset, telling yourself, I can do it, this is gonna happen, I'm gonna be successful, it'll set yourself up for success and you'll be a much more happier, healthy, prosperous person uh, for the rest of your life. However, you do have to be uh, a realist too, you know, Nowadays, I'm sure you guys know, the economic times are not the best uh, this year. Uh, small owner operators are struggling right now. Uh, right now is probably not the best time to try that, to be honest, just because, you know, of the economic times and how, you know, it's, 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 it's gonna be tough to get your business successful if you're just starting off right now, just because of the economic times. But, so be a little realist, you know, take that into consideration, but, also, don't let that get down and don't let you, don't let that uh, mindset get into your head and tell you that you're never gonna do it. Just you gotta be smart about it and pull the trigger when it's the right time uh, to be successful and to ultimately pull the trigger and go in guns blazing. You can't, you can't just half butt it, you know, if you're gonna decide to do, uh, start your own business, you gotta really go in 100% and you gotta, you know, tell yourself you're gonna be successful and you gotta be willing to work harder than everyone else and all your competition around you. Because if you aren't, you know, it's not gonna work. You gotta outdo the competition uh, to be successful. And, uh, you know, honestly, my recommendation for, you know, these next couple of years, you know, if you're a company driver, you got a good, good high paying gig, stay where you are. For example, your voice move, I'm working for FedEx Ground right now. It's, uh, it's a big company, um, you know, it's, uh, a company that can get you through the tough economic times. You know, you wanna be with a big company that can get you through these tough economic times right now because times are tough and uh, be with a strong company that's consistent income, making 75, 80,000 a year consistently. And uh, a company like that is what's gonna get you through until times start getting good and start getting prosperous again. We get a president in there that knows what he's doing, gets this economy going in a lot better direction. And uh, that is ultimately gonna be probably your best bet, you guys. I wanna jump into a little bit of my financial situation. Those of you guys that are the OGs, been watching my channel for a long time, you know, I wanna give you guys a little update on my financial situation. Uh, I wanna go into a little bit of my stock market portfolio. Your boy's smooth. I feel like I've learned some lessons this year, some lessons. Uh, those of you who know, a couple of years ago, I was investing a lot of money into individual stocks. I was putting a lot of money into, you know, Robinhood individual stocks and I was seeing extreme gains, you know, my stocks were going up. This is back a year and a half, two years ago, right, the, right, right before Trump, uh, you know, got reelected out of office. And uh, um, yeah, you know, the stocks were booming. Things were going up like crazy. You know, your boy's smooth. I was putting, you know, 20,000 into the stocks and turning into 30,000, 40,000. It was doubling, you know, I think I, at one point, you know, I, I invested maybe, I think, $60,000 and it went up to almost $110,000 uh, at one point at the, at the peak times about a year and a half ago when the, when the mark, market was at an all-time high. However, when you're playing that game, you got to realize that you are playing a risky game 
and uh, you you better be able to be, be prepared for potential losses because your boy's smooth. Uh, unfortunately, I learned a little lesson, you know, this last year and a half, it has been ugly, you guys. It has been ugly in the stock market. You know, stocks have gone down tremendously. Uh, thank goodness that I was able to sell out a couple of my good positions. So I am, <coughs> I am in a good position now where I have enough money to buy a house. But looking back on it, it is a big lesson because I want to be real with you guys. You know, if I would have sold out at the peak, market a year and a half. Your boy Smooth would have been in a much better financial place if I would have sold out uh, at the peak market a year and a half ago, you know, when stocks were an all time high. But honestly, you never know when the peak market is gonna be, you guys. Luckily, I do have more than enough uh, money saved up now where I'm able to afford a house and buy a place in the next year and your boy Smooth is gonna be in a good uh, spot financially. But learn from your mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes in life. It happens to everyone. If you can learn from your mistakes, it's gonna set you up in a much better position and you're gonna be a lot more successful overall. When you fall off the horse, get back on. That's one of the big keys in life. Falling off the horse, there's people that they'll fall off, they'll give up, uh, or you can get back on the horse, keep going and do what it takes to be successful. Keep that drive, stay motivated, be successful, you guys. And ultimately, that'll set you up for a happy, prosperous life for the rest of your life if you can do that. Uh, you know, you are never a failure until you give up. Never a failure until you give up. Remember that, you guys. My contractor is hiring for V&G Automotive Freight. If you guys live in the Southern California area, you have your CDL with doubles endorsement. Go ahead and reach out to my contractor down below. His number is 909 222 nine four one four hiring right now uh, great job great opportunity 80 to a hundred thousand dollars per year take home pay if you work hard stay on the grind stay on the hustle do th five thousand miles per week great job great opportunity hope you guys are doing well let me know how you guys are doing comment down below your thoughts opinions your voice smooth always wants to hear what you guys have to think hope this video was helpful and until the next video smooth the trucker out for now you